The Ohio State Buckeyes are favorites at odds of plus 385 to win the College Football National Championship, and they are at odds of minus 385 to win the Big Ten Conference Championship. Last season saw the Buckeyes go 14-1 straight up, 10-5 against the spread, and 12-3 and on the over-under. Before last season started, quarterback Braxton Miller went down with a recurring shoulder injury, and JT Barrett took over to put up one of the best Big Ten offensive seasons in Ohio State history. Cardale Jones also became a postseason legend in the history of NCAA football, leading the Buckeyes to a 59-0 slamming of the Wisconsin Badgers in the Big Ten title game and defeating both Alabama and Oregon in the first ever BCS playoff en route to the Buckeyes' first title since 2002. Urban Meyer enters his fourth season at the helm, and in April, he inked a deal that will keep him in Columbus through the 2020 season. Projections are again through the roof for Ohio State, with numerous outlets calling for a perfect season and back-to-back -back championships. Cardale Jones appears to be in line for the starting quarterback role, but with Miller and Barrett both healthy again, the battle for who will be taking the bulk of the snaps will be an ongoing process. You could fill a book with the accomplishments of all three quarterbacks vying for the starting role, and each could certainly lead the team to victory. Four starting linemen returned from last year's squad, with Daryl Baldwin being the lone graduate. The left side of the line is set up with Taylor Beckett and Billy Price, while senior center Jacoby Boren looks to be shaking off a nagging injury that saw him miss a handful of spring practices. The right side returns Pat Elfline at guard, with Chase Ferris in line to take over for Baldwin. Ezekiel Elliott returns for his junior season after rushing for 1,878 yards and 18 touchdowns, averaging 6.9 yards on 273 attempts. With Ohio State being favored to win it all again this year, Elliott has the potential to be sitting in New York among the Heisman hopefuls, especially after a prolific postseason last year. Co-defensive coordinators Chris Ash and Luke Fickle will have returning DE and Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year Joey Bossa back in the fray this season. Tyquan Lewis appears to have the inside track on the second DE position in the 4-3 scheme, while three seniors, Adolphus Washington, Tommy Shute, and Joe Hale, will rotate to fill DT positions in the middle. Senior Joshua Perry will lead the linebacking core once again, following up a season in which he amassed a team-best 124 tackles. Curtis Grant has moved on from middle linebacker, but hard-hitting Raquan McMillan is set to take over the middle this season. Darren Lee was an animal last season as a freshman, with 7.5 sacks, 16.5 TFL, and two fumble recoveries for touchdowns. All three big-name quarterbacks have proven they can lead a team through any situation. Starting the season at Virginia Tech could be an interesting proposition, as the Hokies were the only team to blemish a perfect season last year, beating the Buckeyes 35-21 in the second game of 2014. The November 21st game against Michigan State at the Shoe could also be the game that decides the Big Ten Eastern Division. We are not handing the Buckeyes the trophy just yet, and repeat champions are not common in NCAA football. They will certainly have to earn it, but with Alabama not likely to have enough in place this year to challenge the Buckeyes, the door is certainly open for repeat success. There are enough pieces in place here for a season that will rival 2014. So for our pick and prediction, we'll have to give the Buckeyes the best chance to get back-to-back -back titles this year. For our Ohio State Buckeyes betting predictions at Bang the Book, check out the Bang the Book Betting Center. And don't forget that the Bang the Book Betting Center is your best resource for sports betting information before you make your weekly assault on the sportsbooks.